Okay, we're now going to look at the posterior cerebral arteries. And you'll recall that the posterior cerebral arteries arise as a bifurcation from the basilar artery. So this is the point here at which the basilar artery splits into um, a left and a right posterior cerebral artery. Um, and what the posterior cerebral arteries do is they loop around the midbrain and then run along the inferior surface of the posterior hemisphere, supplying the occipital lobe and also the inferior aspect of the temporal lobe. Okay, So their um, cortical distribution, is the, as we said, is the occipital lobe, if we look at the images at the bottom, and the inferior aspect of the temporal lobe. However, they have two very important subcortical distributions. Firstly, you can see here that there are little branches from the posterior cerebral artery going into the midbrain. And the posterior cerebral artery is the main arterial supply to the midbrain. And additionally, and very interestingly, what we also have, if we look at the image on the top right, there are perforating branches emanating from the posterior cerebral artery and going up to the thalamus. Okay? going up to the thalamus. So these are kind of analogous to the lenticular striate branches of the middle cerebral, but these are going up to the thalamus instead. So to summarise, the posterior cerebral artery supplies the um, inferior surface of the hemisphere, including the inferior aspects of the temporal lobe and the occipital lobes, all of the occipital lobes. It also sends branches to the midbrain, and it is the midbrain's major arterial supply, as well as sending perforating branches up to the thalamus. And that's all we've got to say on the posterior cerebral artery. Um, you should think about what could be the effects of a posterior cerebral artery infarct. Okay.